Have you ever wondered what happens when a narcissistic woman realizes they can no longer manipulate someone? Initially, they might experience a sense of frustration or irritation, as their traditional methods of manipulation fail to influence the individual. Once a narcissistic woman realizes that you've become fully aware of their tactics, their ability to manipulate you diminishes significantly. They find it futile to play the roles they once used, whether acting pleasant or playing the victim. As your lack of emotional investment renders these strategies ineffective, essentially, without an emotional bond to exploit, you cease to serve a purpose in their manipulative schemes. However, this realization doesn't necessarily mean they'll cease their attempts to influence you. Even though they might struggle to manipulate you directly, they might resort to manipulating others in your sphere to impact you indirectly. The stark reality is that many narcissistic women don't promptly move on to a new target, once their previous source becomes resistant, typically, they maintain multiple victims simultaneously, driven by their vengeful and spiteful nature. Consequently, their list of targets keeps expanding. Losing a source of emotional supply affects them, leaving them seeking ways to regain control. Whether you've cut off contact, established clear boundaries, or called them out on their manipulative behavior, the narcissistic woman realizes that their ability to emotionally manipulate you has waned, leaving only a few strategies at their disposal. Without any further ado, here are seven ways on how narcissistic women manage those they cannot manipulate. Number 1. They will try to bring you down. When faced with individuals they can no longer manipulate, narcissistic women often resort to devaluing and undermining these individuals. This behavior stems from their inability to control or dominate those who see through their manipulative tactics. Unable to maintain their power over such individuals, narcissistic women may turn to destructive means to assert superiority. Their attempts to bring others down are driven by a need to re-establish control and superiority. They may resort to tactics such as spreading rumors, engaging in character assassination, or subtly demeaning the person in social or professional settings. By doing so, they aim to tarnish the individual's reputation, sow seeds of doubt, and isolate them from support networks. The motive behind these actions is to retaliate against those who resist their manipulation. Narcissistic women often perceive their failure to control someone as a personal affront to their self-perceived superiority. Consequently, they resort to vindictive behavior, seeking to undermine the person's confidence and standing, reinforcing their belief in their own supremacy. Number 2. Whatever you can do, they can do better. When narcissistic women encounter individuals they can't manipulate, they often engage in a relentless game of one-upmanship. Their competitive nature kicks in as they attempt to assert their supposed superiority. These individuals relentlessly compare every aspect of their lives to those they perceive as threats, striving to prove themselves as better or more successful. To maintain their facade of supremacy, they meticulously craft an image of success, sometimes through ostentatious displays or material possessions. They might exaggerate achievements, fabricate stories of triumph, or strategically manipulate situations to portray themselves as being one step ahead of their perceived competitors. In doing so, they aim to undermine the confidence of those they can't control. By highlighting their own perceived successes and accomplishments, their competitive behavior is a means of compensating for their inability to manipulate and control the target. By attempting to outdo the other person, narcissistic women hope to assert dominance and reaffirm their perceived superiority, even in the absence of direct influence over their target's life. Number 3. They will simply disengage or lose interest. In encounters with individuals who demonstrate resilience against their manipulative strategies, narcissistic women tend to resort to a strategy of detachment or disinterest. These individuals pose a significant challenge to the narcissist's modus operandi. By being impervious to their deceptive tactics and possessing an acute awareness that sees beyond the narcissist's facade, the presence of these resistant individuals creates an uncomfortable situation for the narcissistic women as it highlights their inability to assert control or manipulate as effectively as they desire. The lack of influence over these individuals triggers feelings of insecurity and threat within the narcissist, unsettling their perceived superiority and dominance. 
As a result, these narcissistic women prefer to disengage or gradually lose interest in engaging with those who stand firm against their manipulative behaviors. Their decision to distance themselves from such individuals serves as a way to mitigate the discomfort and vulnerability they experience. The mere existence of someone who refuses to succumb to their manipulative strategies challenges the narcissistic women's sense of control and dominance. Thus they opt to withdraw their attention and involvement, redirecting their focus toward new potential targets, where they can reinstate their control and influence. Number 4. They will employ intermittent reinforcement trick you. In navigating encounters with individuals resistant to their manipulation, narcissistic women often resort to employing a deceptive tactic known as intermittent reinforcement. This strategy aims to re-establish control by creating a cycle of unpredictability in their interactions. Intermittent reinforcement involves the sporadic provision of attention, validation, or affection by the narcissistic women to their targets. They strategically alternate between periods of warmth and coldness, affection and detachment, leaving their targets uncertain about the nature of the relationship. By engaging in this erratic behavior, they sow seeds of confusion and emotional turmoil in the minds of their targets, instigating a cycle of hope and disappointment. The goal behind this tactic is to rekindle the emotional rollercoaster within the relationship, manipulating the targets into a perpetual state of anticipation and uncertainty. The intermittent display of affection or attention serves as a tool to regain control over the emotional dynamics of the relationship, aiming to keep the targets invested and under their influence. Through this manipulative technique, narcissistic women strive to maintain a grip on their target's emotions, fostering a sense of dependency and allegiance, while exploiting the target's vulnerability to their advantage. Number 5. They will aim to undermine your confidence. In their quest to maintain control over individuals they cannot manipulate, narcissistic women often resort to undermining their target's confidence. This insidious tactic involves a systematic effort to erode the self-assurance and self-esteem of the individual. Narcissists achieve this by deploying various means, such as downplaying the achievements of their targets casting doubt on their decisions, or incessantly criticizing their capabilities. They subtly plant seeds of uncertainty and self-doubt, creating an environment where the individual questions their abilities and judgments. By constantly belittling or undermining the achievements and qualities of their targets, narcissistic women aim to instill a persistent sense of insecurity. This strategy is designed to weaken the individual's self-confidence, making them more susceptible to the narcissist's influence and control. Through the deliberate act of undermining their target's confidence, narcissistic women seek to assert dominance and maintain a position of power, ensuring the individual remains dependent on them and is less likely to challenge their authority or resist manipulation. This calculated effort to diminish self-assurance forms a part of the narcissistic strategy to exert control over those who cannot be easily swayed by their manipulative tactics. Number 6. They will experience a narcissistic injury resulting in a narcissistic rage. When confronted with individuals who remain impervious to their manipulative tactics, narcissistic women experience what's known as a narcissistic injury a direct challenge to their exaggerated sense of self-importance and superiority. This contradiction to their inflated self-image strikes at the core of their ego and beliefs about their exceptionalism. This injury to their self-image causes profound distress within narcissistic women. It contradicts their deeply ingrained belief that they are superior and infallible. Unable to handle this contradiction, they face an internal conflict between their idealized self-perception and the reality of their limitations or faults. As a result, narcissists often react with what's termed a narcissistic rage and explosive, unpredictable, and unjustifiable emotional outburst. This rage manifests in various ways, ranging from verbal aggression, manipulation, or emotional abuse to more severe behaviors, including physical violence or extreme hostility. The narcissistic rage emerges as a defense mechanism triggered by their inability to project their suppressed negative traits onto others. Typically, narcissistic women employ projection to rid themselves of traits they consider unacceptable by attributing them to others. When they can no longer control or manipulate an individual, they are unable to offload these undesirable traits causing immense internal turmoil and discomfort. Number 7. They will use overwhelming attention to regain control over you. This tactic involves bombarding the resistant individual with an excess of affection, compliments, or promises in an attempt to rekindle the previous manipulative relationship dynamic. 
This approach is a strategic move by the narcissistic woman to entice the target back into their sphere of influence. By inundating the resistant individual with excessive attention and affection, they aim to create a sense of emotional dependency or obligation, enticing the person to reconsider their boundaries or defenses. The overwhelming attention serves as a tool for the narcissistic woman to exploit any emotional vulnerabilities or doubts that the resistant individual might have. It's a calculated effort to exploit these vulnerabilities by creating a sense of importance or belonging that the target may have previously sought from the narcissistic woman. This tactic might involve extravagant displays of affection, grandiose promises, or persistent attempts at reconciliation. By overwhelming the individual with this attention, the narcissistic woman hopes to weaken their resolve, causing them to reconsider their stance and potentially re-enter a manipulative relationship, thus restoring the narcissist's control. In conclusion, when a narcissistic woman realizes she cannot manipulate or control someone, her reactions can be erratic and harmful. These strategies to maintain control showcase the complexity of narcissistic behavior. Understanding these tactics can help one recognize and protect themselves from such manipulative behaviors. What are your thoughts on this? Share your experiences and insights in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Wishing you a great day ahead, and thank you for watching.